In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a landscape material instance. What material instance is, is an extension of your main material that allows you to expand on your master parent material so you can have more flexibility and without having to recreate the entire material from scratch, just so you can make various changes. And it's better for performance when you use a material instance rather than creating an entire new material from scratch. And one of the main benefits of having a material instance is you can update properties and see changes instantly without having to recompile shaders every time you make a change, which is what happens when you only work with materials. So in this video, I'm going to show you creating a material instance specifically for your landscape material. And I'll tell you how to set up so you can adjust roughness, texture tiling, and the ability to change color and normal map textures. So to get started, you have to have a material to create a material instance from. And we created this material in the previous tutorial. And this material is already applied onto the landscape. So I'm going to select the landscape, then go to details panel, scroll down to landscape material, and I'm going to click on the magnifying glass to find this material inside the content browser. So all you need to do is right click on any material and choose create material instance. This will create the material instance from that material. And I'm going to keep the same name with a postfix of INST, which it assigns by default. If you double click on the material instance, this will bring you up the material instance editor. And inside this editor is where you'll be able to make changes and adjustments to various properties that you set up. Now we don't have anything to adjust here right now because we haven't set up any parameters in the master parent material. So in order for these parameters to show up, we got to do some work inside our material. So I'm going to double click on the material to open up the material editor. And this is what we created in the last video. This is a very simple two texture layer paintable landscape material. So the first parameter that we're going to set up and expose inside the material instance is the roughness. To convert a material expression to a parameter, all you have to do is select it, right click, and choose convert to parameter. You can do this to a lot of various material expressions. And by converting it to a parameter, it will be exposed inside the material instance. So I'm going to convert this constant one vector to a parameter, and I'm going to give it a name. Roughness Grass. The constant one vector had a default value of 0.9, and it still remains the same value, so I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second constant one vector. Select it, right click, and choose Convert to Parameter. I'm going to name this Roughness Dirt, and I'm going to keep the same default value, 0.9. Now I want to select these two parameters and inside the details panel, I'm going to assign them to a group called roughness. This will simply organize our parameters inside the material instance. So they are underneath a tab that will say roughness. So by grouping the items together, you're organizing them inside the material instance editor. But if you don't, it won't affect the functionality. Now if I hit apply and then take a look inside the material instance. We will have two new parameters to control, roughness grass and roughness dirt, and their default values will be set at 0.9. All right, we're done with roughness. Now I'm going to show you how you can change textures, color and normal maps inside the material instance. This is very useful for when you want to change a texture on your landscape instantly to something else without having to go inside the material editor and then change textures in there going to do this to the grass texture sample first. Select it, right click on it, and again choose convert to parameter. Give it a name, going to name this grass color, and then do the same thing to the dirt texture. Select it, right click convert to parameter, and I will name this one dirt color. And then we're going to repeat the same steps for the normal maps, because when we change a color texture, we also need to do the same thing for the normal map. So the color in the normal map match. Select the normal map, right click, and convert to parameter. I'm going to name this one grass normal, and this one will be dirt normal. 
Then I'm going to select all four of these texture sample nodes and I'm going to group them. To marquee select, left click hold and drag over the four texture samples. Then inside the details panel, under group, I'm going to assign them all to the same group and I'm going to name it textures. Well, let's hit apply and I'm going to bring back the material instance editor and here we have our two color textures and two normal maps that we'll be able to switch out to anything else we want. Now I'm going to show you how to set up so you can change texture tiling. Right now this is being controlled by the landscape chords and we cannot convert this to a parameter. We have to do a couple of things so it can become a parameter. So first we need a parameter. If you hold down S and left click this will insert a scalar parameter. It's the same thing as if you inserted a constant one vector and then converted that vector to a parameter. We're just skipping a step. I'm going to name it Tiling Grass and this will control the tiling of the texture. And then we have two options. You can either insert a multiply, hold down M and left click. This is a very common option to use, but the problem with this is in order to increase the tiling, you have to go below 1 into the fractions. So you have to use 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and so on to decrease the texture tiling. And that's not very user friendly. I want to increase the number higher than 1 and for that I use a divide node instead. So I'm going to right click, search for divide and insert it. Then I'm going to take the landscape chords output, connect it into divide A and then tiling grass parameter into divide B. And I take divide output and reconnect it into the UV input of the texture. And then I'm going to take the same divide and connect it into the grass normal map input. This way we have the same tiling for the grass normal and for the grass color. And then I'm going to select the parameter and change the map and scale its default value to 5. So we have something to start with. And now I'm going to repeat the same steps for the dirt. Insert a divide. Then insert a scalar parameter and name it Tiling Dirt. Connect the landscape chords into divide A. Tiling Dirt parameter into divide B. And then the divide output will be connected into the UV input of the color texture and into the UV input of the normal map. And now we have our tiling control setup. And then I'm also going to change the map and scale for the tiling dirt, its default value to 5. Now I want to organize this setup so you know what everything is doing and where everything is at. This is not necessary but it's good to begin organizing your material early on so you don't get lost. I'm going to marquee select by holding down the left mouse button and then dragging over these tiling controls. Then I'm going to press C. This will create a comment box and I'm going to name this comment box tiling. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the roughness controls. Left click hold and drag to select them. Press C and name this comment box roughness. Then I will do the same thing to the color and to the normal maps. And then I'm also going to quickly put these layer blend nodes inside the same comment box. Alright, that's it. We've organized our material, created our parameters, and now all is left to do is hit apply, save, and let's go back into our map to test. I'm going to open up the material instance editor, and first let's begin with roughness. I'm going to enable them, and I'm going to look towards the sun so we get to see the roughness better. And then begin to adjust it. Now nothing is happening. That is because we need to assign the material instance onto the landscape. And right now we still have the material itself. So I'm going to select the material instance inside the content browser. Then select the landscape. Go to details panel. Scroll down to landscape material. And click on this arrow to replace and use the selected asset from the content browser. And as soon as I do that, we'll see the roughness values update. And now if I begin to adjust the roughness parameters, they will be updated in real time. Next, let's adjust the tiling of the textures. I'm going to enable tiling dirt and tiling grass. And then begin to change the number. I'm going to set tiling dirt to 2 and tiling grass 
let's set it to 3. And then of course we can change the textures for each texture layer. So if I don't want dirt anymore, I'm just going to use the drop down menu and search for something else. Let's say I want to swap it to a rock texture. I'm going to use this rock slate. That looks pretty good. And now I have to do the same thing to the normal map. So the color and the normal map match. So I'm going to look for the same rock texture, but for the normal map. And swap it out. And we can do the same thing for the second texture, for the grass. So I'm going to swap it to the rock sandstone. And also update it for the normal map. And here we go. A material instance is pretty much a necessity when working with materials in UE4. And I always create a material instance when I work with landscapes. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a like, subscribe, and to go more into depth and immerse yourself in learning how to create landscapes, how to sculpt them, and how to paint textures on them. Take a look at the course I released called UE4 Fundamentals Volume 2 Landscapes Essentials. You will learn everything you need to know for how to create and sculpt landscapes and how to create and paint landscape materials entirely inside UE4 without any external software.